Hello all, this is Sierra. Um, I'm doing a follow-up video to my uh, current planner system. The last video I did was on June, or not June, oh my gosh, December 31st, and today is February 18th. So um, we're almost two months into 2018, and I wanted to give an update on um, how my planner system has changed, um, what has worked, and how I've mor um, morphed my system to work better for me. So you'll see that the sizes haven't changed. I still have my B6 Apunto. Um, my everyday carry is a personal size or medium Campania from Gilio, And then I am still using a pocket size. Um, but as you'll see, I have um, pretty much made this B6 Apunto um, superfluous. I have been able to find inserts that will fit in my everyday carry um, such that I don't necessarily need the B6 Apunto um, as much anymore. So um, I'm going to, let's see what would be the best way to do this. The B6 Apunto is unchanged. I still use it every day. Um, maybe I'll, maybe some days I won't um, open it, and, but I have been sick, so it's been kind of like touch and go. But um, I still write it every day. There's a day per page, and then I still have a journal in the back here. So I've used about... 30 pages of that already and this is supposed to go for the first six yeah six months of 20 uh, 2018 so I still have this theology I just um, once I go into my everyday care you'll see that maybe I don't necessarily need it uh, for what I was originally using it for so what I'm using in my everyday carry, I've switched the dividers around, I've switched the sections around, I've added some new sections and um, <clears throat> I did actually buy a new medium Campania. So this is um, real ostrich, but it's the in the Oryx color, which is a beige. And this is natural lighting, by the way. Um, I don't have any lights on in the kitchen right now. Um, but it's their X model. So Gilio came out with a model that is real ostrich, but um, what it is is the leather, I, mean, I hate to say left over, but it's the leather that wouldn't otherwise be used because there isn't um, bulbs all the way around it. So I personally um, was really drawn to this because one, you save $150 or something like that. Um, and then two, I really thought it was a neat way to not be so flashy because the ostrich leather is very, I mean, it's noticeable. I notice when I see it on cowboy boots, um, <laughs> when I'm out in the field for work and I'm, kind, you know, I'm down in Texas or something, um, I've seen it on people's boots and I'm like, holy crap, I know how much this stuff is and it's just flashy, whereas this, um, I still get the durability, I still get the almost, I mean, it's essentially impermeable, like it's, I can't, it's just, I love the ostrich leather and, but it's still nice um, and you can still tell it's ostrich if you open it up. So, uh, my particular Oryx has clusters here. It has a little here, which I thought was cute. Kind of looks like polka dots. Um, and then in the back, there's also another cluster. So I really like that. Um, there's just a few on the back. All right, so yeah, that's an option. I think there's still some colors available. I actually still think there's some Oryx um, left. So um, I just thought this was cute, so I put that in the front. I wanna say this is, yeah, this is Planner Press. It came with my order. Some vellum I like. Um, I bought two of these Filofax that they pop in and out. They're like clear plastic dividers. Um, I plan on putting just some post-it notes here, but I almost kind of like that it protects my road mat because um, this is something I turn to all the time. Um, this is kind of in the middle of being changed because of how this B6 Apunto will be um, used differently now, but for now it's, it's in here. I have a note section, um, just stuff I need to remember, like long, long ass to-do lists that I need to um, keep track of. And then this is my dailies. So if you've watched my other videos or follow me on Instagram, I don't have any dailies. Um, I never had any dailies in my everyday carry. There just wasn't necessarily enough room, but I have... Um, found these inserts by Annie Plans Printables, 
and I have actually gotten a lot out of it. So these all have confidential stuff on it, but um, I'll show you from earlier this week. Um, I every day I just put in here, and it's not pretty, and I just throw it, throw stuff down, and then once it's all written down, sometimes I'll throw stickers on it. I mean, if I feel like it or if I'm ready, um, if I have some lying around. But like this is my weekend. And I filled this out yesterday, or no, sorry, Friday at work. Um, so I really like this. I think what I was, what I'm gonna do is do like Monday tomorrow is a holiday, uh, President's Day. But I would have like Tuesday, I'd have work to do up here, and then I'd have personal stuff down here. So meal plan, gym, anything like that. And it's been really working out. And it's something that. Um, makes the B6 Apunto not as necessary because I was essentially just using that as a running to-do list like brain dump. So I think what the B6 Theology will turn into, the Apunto will be more of a journal. And I do use it for that. I love the paper. I'm obsessed with the paper. So um, I don't know if I'll leave it at home or if I'll leave it at work, um, but it may cut down on my how much I carry in my bag because at this point every day I'd have all three. Um, I found these really neat sticky notes from Mochi, th Mochi and Things. They are, they call them tracing paper, but as you can see, they're see-through, and I think they work best with pencil, but um, I have used like a ballpoint, or I kind of tried out other pens on it, and I used it for a grocery list in my Apunto. Uh, let me see if I can flip to it quick. Um, yeah, right here. So you can see, like, then I can just pull this. Oh my god, well, I thought I could pull it. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're removable. And then I can just slap it down somewhere else. So, I don't know, I really like those. And I got them in different sizes. That's just the larger size. All right, so then I have my notes, my dailies, and then I have my health section. And I moved all this to the front, you'll notice, because I realized I need to spend the most of my time in these sections. My calendar is something that I can flip to easily. I don't need to necessarily have it out all the time, like at work. So my gym schedule, my um, fitness log, like my workout log. And if I do, if, the, if they're highlighted, then it means I did two workouts in one day. Um, this is where I plan out my workouts in advance. So you'll see sometimes they'll, they'll change or they'll turn into rest days. Um, next week I'll fill out March. And so what I'll do is I'll sit down, I'll have this open, I'll have my gym schedule as a guide, I'll have my calendar to flip to for like big appointments, and then I'll have my work calendar up on my computer, or my phone rather. My weight log, and this is then um, my gratitude section. This this is actually Peanuts, or yeah, Peanuts Planner Co. had a freebie, and it actually is made for like a traveler's notebook, but I don't have a traveler's notebook um, that I use every day so uh, I just punched holes in it but essentially it's a workbook for self-care and you um, can write out things you're grateful for um, and particular things my husband's home hi babe um, so it's like a workbook you can fill out I really thought it was a neat idea so that's a freebie on our Facebook group and then I have my gratitude journal I've been doing that since October, and it's really uh, been really positive for me. The next is still part of my health section. I have a health log, and I'm using this insert from Peanuts Planner Co. to write my reflection for the month. So, like at the end of February, I'll write plus, and I'll write things that were positive, things that worked that month, and then negative things that didn't work. So, like I can't remember what I put for this. Like I didn't have very, I didn't sleep very well in January. I had high stress. I had a trial. I had, um, and then I wrote down like I took one mental health day, kind of trying to see if I need to add more in or if like or even less rather. Then I have a health log for me, so I do like a day, and I just use however many lines I need. And then I have one for my son. And I have doctor visits here, so I have a few, his pages are actually longer just because he's had more appointments recently. And then I have mine. And then next is my work section. So 
Um, I'm not sure how helpful this will be for um, most people, but um, essentially I have a, a line for each case, and I've broken it down based on what appeal level, apple, um, appellate level it's at. And then I have checklists, which is like the case progression. So the first thing you do when you get a case is, you know, you open the file and you run through discovery and you do depositions and you do summary judgment and then you go to trial. Um, <laughs> uh, that's really short and sweet, but it, you know, it really would work. This is a peanuts planner co insert with the check boxes. She does a three line or three column one, two, if you don't need the five and you could really use like any, you could put like a project name and then, you know, the whatever five things you need to get done. And you could even, if you wanted to, like use this side too and have it be the same project, but more to do's. So do that with every case and I just have extra pages in the back. Um, I have my travel insert, so my work trips are coming up. Um, this is like a, this one's not until June, but you can see how it's filled out. Like I have my travel schedule. And my flight already changed, so I had to, I used whiteout. Kind of annoying, but next time I'll need to use pencil because things things can change. And then the next insert is um, my calendar. So <clears throat> I actually switched this up too. So I have the yearly in the front. I track, it's um, color coded, so I track um, holidays, trial, vacation days, and then sick days. And so you'll see we were sick for three days this month. It was kind of intense. Um, my husband's schedule, which is yearly. And then another one of those file effects that pull out. I love these, you guys. They're really cheap, too, off Amazon. Um, then I have my monthly goals. So each month I'll write out like what my goals are. And this is what I need to do monthly. So set my monthly goals, print my May Designs calendar, which um, is like a freebie they have on their website. Uh, draft my habit tracker, schedule my gym workouts, and then I do my reflections. So like you'll see on February, I haven't done those yet because we're not to the end of the month. Got my goals for work, and then my calendar for work, which I just keep track of what trials I have scheduled. And big things I need to get done, like high level projects that I need to at least touch each month. Um, I was going to use this for something, so I have it in there loose because I need to remember what, I, what the heck I wanted to do with that. Um, then this is my monthly, so I have every month in here through December, and I really like that. Um, but for my weeklies, I only have through May, and then I'll add the more in at the, you know, I'll take a month out at a time and f flip it. And then every week, I have been using these Minted Sugar weekly layouts, and I really like them. Um, it has to do, top three to buy, and the habit tracker. And I do high level, like, like high, high level things. Like, um, I'm trying to think. Like just drinking water or like things that I can really easily get done. Bringing my lunch so to save money. And yep, I have those. So yeah, that's this one. I have some more stickers in the back. These are mint, uh, my, my newest addiction. And I don't know if I have anything. I think I just have some invitations I need to have in here to uh, remember the address and then some checks. And as always, I have stamps up in this pocket. So, all right. And then in my pocket, I was actually able... So the reason why I bought this, it's a Kate Spade um, Deborah, And this is called the Knight's Bridge. Um, I guess I could take out... She actually had the... Um, so I bought this used, and she actually had the uh, tag still in it. So this is the planner. I'd never seen this before. Maybe it's a goose. Maybe goose is the color. That would make more sense. It's like a shiny croco. It ma it's beige. It matches my Oryx. If anything, I mean, the shades are off, but it still matches, in my opinion. Um... So I still use this for finance and for home, so cleaning and my meal planning, but um, I'm able to include much more because compared to the Louis Vuitton, this has huge rings. So it seemed like a big upgrade, even though I was moving out of a very, you know, luxurious planner. Um, I'm really pretty obsessed with this right now. This pen's Ted Baker. Uh, I got this used from um, a girl on Instagram. I can style 
Glam XOXO or something. I can uh, link her adult below. That was really fun. This is my word of the year, so that, that dashboard hasn't changed. I have a planner, I have random notes, I have like big goals for finance. Um, I have some stickies that I use. These are all from Sparkling Mint, just like in here, in my everyday carry. This is the our financial breakdown that I use as a cheat sheet. Um, I have to buy, I have online orders, coupon codes, I have a savings tracker, I keep track of um, how, are, how my stocks are doing, my HSA balance, credit limits, then I do payment tracker, so just a few more uh, payments on my car, student loan, furniture, then I have a spending, my spending tracker, and I do it by uh, pay, or not pay periods, um, my closing date for my, the credit card I use most, and then bills, so I have, this is Peanuts Planner Co, pocket size, and I do uh, due dates and closing dates just so I can keep track. And then this is what I use the most, which is the monthly bill section, so you can see, this is February, um, at the end of the month when we get paid, this is what I'll go down and, and pay, and check off to make sure I remember. And I have inserts all the way through December here. Then on my meal planning and my cleaning section, and these are unchanged. These are all Peanuts Planner Co. Every Friday, I plan out uh, the meal for the next week. What groceries I need to get. Cleaning each week. Um, I haven't been doing it the last couple weeks because we got sick. Like this this week is this week we got sick. So I'm like, oh, I need I'm slowly getting back on track after that. So yeah, I can actually add more in this, which is really nice. Before I was like trying to stuff everything in but I don't have to do that anymore so yeah this is how my systems change you can kind of tell I don't really use this anymore for anything uh, incredibly functional so I don't know I don't know what the fate is of that guy but um, please let me know if you guys have any questions I try to keep this short and sweet if you want a more in detail uh, flip um, you can check out my video from December 31st because I went into a lot more detail on um, kind of how I utilize each section and so forth. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I am SM Plans. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend.